It was a little faster when you have some focus. All right, we got it. So, principles of zombie biology. So, I think that's all the basics: physiology, biology, zombie biology. Now it's down to the uh, the, the tailored, more specialty stuff: flight, shock, um, synthetic armors, natural armors. So, this is going to be. I think tough zombies and soldier zombies and all that kind of stuff to get the armored versions. I need to start paying attention to the uh, the messages when we strike things. So you mutilate the zombie miner, you maim the zombie miner for 70, critical. I'm not sure on some of the messaging if uh, uh, we want to see lots of this, lots of critical. But what's the difference between maim and critical? Is maim a weak point? Critical essentially, and critical is a standard critical? <laughs> I'm not not exactly sure on the terminology yet. Hopefully once we pick them all up, we can start examining. Alright. Uh what's in the basket? Some mineral water. Right, get some more cheese. Time to go up and start trying to clear out a bit of the mansion. Once again, I need to stop and let some time pass. I gotta make sure it's full light so they can see me and I can divert them away. Then we'll uh, we'll try to pick and choose our opponents. We'll only be dissecting uh, specialty variants now. So that'll save us some time. Oops. Freakling. Not too close. Oh, is it? It was it foggy, and yeah, we're okay now. Hey! Oh, it is him! It is him, Mister Relentless Hulk. Well, okay. So I, I assume anytime you got that hunted flag, whatever challenge you're running, this is what you've got. Uh, from memory from the last time we checked this guy out, I can probably drop him with just the M4. Although we've got the uh, we've got the heavier rifle with four rounds. Maybe we'll start with that and then switch to the M4. Or maybe a grenade. <laughs> Although I'm not sure I want to do a grenade out here. Hmm. Let's go this way for a second. I think he has a healing rate. I can't remember all the details from when we last examined this. Uh, the yield. Let's go with the Remington 700 30-06 six to start, and then we'll switch to the M4. I just need to get rid of this guy so we don't keep getting pestered by him. And a Shriekling is going to come by also. Hey, dude, <laughs> did you not follow me? Is he an evil or an invisible Relentless Hulk? I'm confused. Where the hell did he go? Well, that's interesting. Oh, there he is. Going north. Now he's spotted me. Fire, 60%, a little closer. 
I'll take it. I only got four shots with this, so hopefully we don't miss. Also pulling other enemies down from uh, from the mansion, which is not ideal. Yeah, I got to get back in the vehicle before he gets here. Got to increase the gap a bit and then do it again. This time we'll fire from the seat. Oh my god, he's back to full. <laughs> Alright, well that's a lot faster than I was hoping for. Alright, so much for that rifle. Um, Let's see. Don't want to trash my vehicle. Problem is, my lack of skill means I gotta let them get pretty close in order to land the hits. And then I don't have enough time with the aiming I need to do to actually finish him before he gets to me. Let's see. I'm debating tossing a grenade. I know I'm going to regret it if I try it, though. Do we have any throwing skill? Uh, I always forget throwing it. Zero throwing skill. Yeah, I really don't want to do a grenade with zero throwing skill. Hmm. I also don't want to wreck my vehicle smashing into a relentless hulk. I could try pulling him back to the mine slowly so I can get the vehicle movement advantage, get him on the other side of a vehicle where he has to cross a lot of frames to get to me and then start hammering away. I think that'd be my best chance with the least risk and the least outflow of resources. Problems keeping him in sight and uh, not blowing out the rest of my limited boards and windshields and so on. I mean, I can't drive parallel to him for very long. I could do something with the uh, the driving, but it's simpler just to take him back down to the mine and uh, lure him onto the, the wreck. 99% sure if I can get him on a good positioning on that, that I can finish him pretty easily. So let's... Whoops. Hey, get back in here. Plus, I, I want to get farther from the mansion. <laughs> I don't want to get constant interruptions or ads from the mansion. So, we'll just slow boat them on down. Thanks, Fog. Very helpful. Ideally, I'd like to get a north-south shot on him right through here, where I'm standing like here, and he's just stepping onto it, and then I should get a whole lot of shots on him while he approaches. So, to set that up, I need to relocate him over this way. 
Still says he's bleeding, huh? Bad bleeding. <laughs> he's healing a lot faster than that bleeding. How am I going to do this? Because I got to get... I either have to get away from my vehicle, which could be really bad. I think he's faster than me. Maybe it'd be easier if I do it from the other side. Bring him down, and then I can approach in the vehicle as I swing around, go up past the vehicle, then hop out and meet him right here. Because going the other direction is going to be too tough to get him where I want him. So, let's go this way. Swing him out wide! <laughs> yes, I saw the bush. I hit it anyway! All these other zombies are going to get in the way. Oh, you some bitch. Now that is not cool. That is not even a little bit cool. That scrubs my entire plan. Why do I all of a sudden have shadow raptors here? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, man. This is going to be perfect, too. Now that is really annoying. Not the right angle. I didn't get him over far enough. He's coming at me from there. Um, what kind of fault? I can't drive it. I don't think any of these are functional. I believe I remember checking that one. That one was a no-go, no controls. The other ones are all wrecks. So there's nothing here I can use to hop in and try to run them over. As soon as I fire the gun, the whole damn crowd is going to show up. He's moving the vehicle. <laughs> He's pushing the vehicle towards me. Wow, this guy gets stronger? It feels like this guy got stronger. I'm out of here. It's about to get crazy. No, hit the Hulk 39, hit the Hulk 37, hit the Hulk 33, hit the Hulk 34, hit the Hulk 36. <laughs> I wasn't hitting the vehicle that many times. Yes, I know I hit it a couple of times, but uh, the majority of the shots went into the Hulk. Hmm. Well, we could leave him, let him catch up to me again.
and try to get some uh, growing skill done and trained real quick. That or I line him up on the street and I just smash into him from behind, uh, from the rear of the vehicle. Which I'm kind of leaning towards. <laughs> and then hop out and try to finish him. Not having fog would be helpful. Hmm. Heavy bleed. But his hit point still keeps up because of that hit point regen. Let's try to get him on a straightaway. We're fairly early into the run. If we die to this guy, it's fine. Because starting over is fun. Let's try a... I'm not sure how fast I can get going in this thing in reverse. I don't think this is going to be long enough. I just don't want to get involved in a bunch of zombies on the road here. But I think I need to take him up to here. Race up and then kick it in reverse. Go as fast as I can in reverse. I do still have my seatbelt, right? <laughs> I do have my seatbelt. Take him in to meet the Migo Scouts. I don't remember where they were at. <laughs> they're, they're a long way away. Wherever they're at. Alright, here's my straightaway. I just want to get him right in the middle of the road. Come on, middle of the road. There you go. Hey there, Shriekling. I'm gonna what what's gonna happen is I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> I'm gonna hit all these other randos. Oh god, 29's as fast as I can go in reverse? Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna be fast enough for this guy. Crap. Well... A drive by and see how fast we can get going in forward. <laughs> Maximum velocity attained. 60, huh? I think 50, 48 to 50 is where I'd like to hit him at, but man, I'm going to end up wrecking my vehicle. And I don't want to wreck it anywhere near anything else. I'm not even sure that's that's probably too fast also. Maybe 40. No, nah, mine didn't have a working truck. We <laughs> Let's go for it. That's some fun. Alright, figured 40 would do it.
All right, we killed our pursuer. Broke out the rest of my boards and uh, I think the windshield. Oh yeah, now we did some damage. Ooh, frames about to drop out. That's not good. That must be the impact point. <laughs> Ouch. Lost my mirror, my headlight, all my windshield, my other headlight. So we got to get headlight back on. Oh, lost my seatbelt. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So that frame, which we can do without, and uh, the headlights. Otherwise, we're still functional. Now we don't have to worry about him. <clears throat> yeah, he's not that hard to kill in a vehicle. You just got to understand uh, the... the damage versus velocity stuff. You don't want to hit them. Anything you're aiming to hit with a vehicle, you don't want to hit too fast because going too fast will trash your vehicle for no reason. So you need to get some practice and some experience in to understand just how fast you need to go without going over that amount and doing more damage to your vehicle than is necessary. So hitting enemies at 60, 80, whatever miles per hour is stupid. You don't need to be anywhere near that fast, as you just saw. I mean, you can wipe out a Hulk-level creature, even more than a Hulk-level creature, uh, at 40. So don't don't be going too fast. Oh, did I shred my battery, too? That part's not good. That has consequences. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we did. Crashed our battery. Okay, now that we might be able to get a replacement back down at the mine. We'd have to go kill a bunch of critters again. Um, but it's still probably the best location to go to. So if we can get the vehicle back in shape and have defeated that guy, at least we'll have a portion or gotten rid of one major, uh, major issue. All right, so these guys, where did the shadow raptors go? Oh, they're still out there. Where are you, shadow raptors? Down there? Hmm. Stupid shrieker is going to pull the shadow raptors to me. Let's stay to the north and hope we can uh, keep them from making noise and coming all the way to me. They're following the Shrieker call. I don't see the Shadow Raptors yet. You should all be really, really damaged. They're all revived zombies, so their hit points will be trash. Yeah, so they'll all be one-hit kills. See if we can take a look, find a working battery. That'll work. It'll charge up as we travel. We can come down and siphon the gas also. Yeah, let's put the battery back here. No need for it to be up front where it can be damaged. Uh, whatever. Whoa! <laughs> well, now we have a problem. <laughs> Oops. I didn't think it was going to go that fast. Huh. Did I let a lot of time pass? Yeah, I did. I it Being silly, I did stop the vehicle. So that could be an issue. Hopefully we have a trickle charge in one of these other batteries. There we go. We're okay. It's all fine. It's all good. <laughs> Oh, 
There's always consequences when you uh, use your vehicle in such a way. Uh, the reason I did it was because I knew I had a fair chance of recovery parts down here. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, let's go ahead and rip out that car battery. And we'll put one over here. Uh, that one. There we go. All right, so our battery situation is solved. Next up. All right, mirrors and headlights fixed. I think that gets us back to where we need to be. Also yank up. Oh, that seat belt's busted too. All right, let's go get... Switch back to the combat knife. I only need one hit on these guys. I don't need a an axe to do that. Or two hits. <laughs> or three? What the hell? All right, I guess I will go with the axe. Thought one hit would do it. Ooh, a lot of gas here, too. Remove seatbelt. Giant stag beetle! My buddy! My bestest friend in the world has arrived. Hey, giant stag beetle. All right, seat belts fixed. Added a stereo system. <clears throat> Let's, um... Probably gonna have to put down a few more zombie miners, but... Hey, we still got a lot of gas. I probably shouldn't care. Uh, grab this, because it's so easy to grab. All right, I think we're done here for now. And I don't have to worry about getting murdered in my sleep by a uh, teleporting Hulk. Good and good. We'll let that sit. Yeah, at least the frame with the engine is fine. The alternator is good enough to charge, so we're okay. Again, the critical parts are fine. Wheels are in good condition. Just, you know, windshields and boards and <laughs> minor things like that. All right, back to paying attention to the mansion. <laughs> now that we've got that dealt with. Um, ah, let's do a drive-by and take a look at a few things. Oh, actually, I need to do a little maintenance on my, my inventory real quick. Uh, put you away. Reload a partial magazine. Actually, you might not have been done with the mine. Uh, I don't have many left to kill, and I could get into the facility. Might be able to get some soap to uh, clean up my rucksack finally. And get a little bit of food from the kitchen area. But I'll 
Nah, I'll have plenty of that when we go up to the mansion. Don't worry about it. All right. Um, got quite a bit of weight available. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Seven o'clock. Yeah, let's do a drive-by. I didn't get a look at what's out here, so the Shriekling that I've been passing constantly. Wonder what kind of uh, proficiency I get from butchering a Relentless Hulk. Actually, I'd probably get um, the armor stuff, right? Hmm. I don't have any detergent or soap to wash the bag. I thought I had grabbed soap and detergent, but I'll have to check my inventory again. I remember trying to pick up both <laughs> it's, uh, at one point or another. Not in there. No soap. Oh, I do have detergent. All right, let's go grab some... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Detergent. My washing kit. Got a few puddles right here. Come to me, right here, up into the grass, and the bush. Uh-oh, slavering biter. Uh, anybody moving towards me? Nobody yet. We'll see if the randomization walks them right onto me like it likes to do. Washing kit, just a rucksack, please. Now all of a sudden I do have soap. <laughs> I must be hiding in a, a pocket or a box or that's funny. That's funny. All right. Backpack is fixed. I looked at the front box. I, I specifically looked before I walked into the back. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. That's funny though. Okay. Get a few random things. Yeah. There's a few things up here I don't want to deal with. I kind of want to kill the Shriekling, but I want to do it far enough away that it doesn't summon those other ones. I need to get uh, the biology for that. Uh, let's see if anybody shows up first. Damn it. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. Warn me when it's five steps away. Thanks. Thanks very much. How about the other 45 steps? Uh, and half stamina. Um. Hmm. Didn't finish my dissection either.
giant humanoids. All humanoids. Wonder if I'll stop being sad. Oh, I don't get sad with the dissection. But I not get sad with the kill either. Hmm. So I won't worry about it. All right, let's go take a look. <clears throat> don't care about standard zombies. <coughs> Those will just lead away. Pupating zombie is a bit of a problem. All right, there's the kitchen. That's one of my targets. And the library's back here. Oh, good. Kitchen library. Other than that, it's just bedrooms and stuff. Either acidic zombie. I don't know if the acidics have their own variant for uh, weak points. Oh, I gotta remember this vehicle's full of holes. <laughs> don't let anything get within a three or four spaces. fast movers so far. That's good. Oh, there's a brute. The brute I would like to dissect. Might not get a chance on this one. I need to be pretty careful this early. <coughs> hmm. Is nowhere near the full complement of zombies inside this mansion, though. Not at double zombies. Yeah, the uh, the dissection. I know we can dissect ferals. That's the uh, human autopsies. <coughs> but I was surprised I didn't take the morale hit for killing the shrieker zombie. Um, little kid shrieker. Alright, we got you guys far enough yet? Doesn't quite feel like it, but leave him here. Woodland Whites? No! I don't want to add them into the mix of local critters. Alright, what do we got? Two slavering biter I don't want to deal with. Well dressed feral. Slavering biter south of me, huh? Uh oh. The Indonesian warrior. Hmm. Isn't that uh is that Pancrat? That Pancration? I forget. I'm pretty sure that's one of the martial arts books. Oh, Silat. Yeah. Pit Jack Silat. <clears throat> I was one of those. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a really good one. We'll get that and we'll definitely learn it. That'll be a really good one to mix in with uh, our investigations of critical hits. And uh, make a good compliment to uh, Nijutsu. Rather not lead towards the other group. Oops. Hey, zombie. Stupid uh, slavering biter. Ah, slavering biter's got too low a vision level. <laughs> now I got a fast mover in the mix. It makes it harder to keep them grouped up. All right, let's try to leave them here. Let's 
just want to get enough of them gone that I can jump into this side of the mansion real quick. I grab a few things. Come to me, silly zombie. Step into my murder wagon. Whoops. <laughs> As I miss move. Lifestyles of the rich and fatted. Reach a mansion. Not sure. I mean, I guess. But if you've got... Uh, if you turn made a progression off in the world settings... Should it still give you achievements? I guess. I don't know. Seems weird. Uh oh. Ah, that's not what I need. I don't want to fight a grappler. Um. Nothing extra interesting in here. Ignore those. We'll hop over here. A ducky! Oh, hiking backpack! <laughs> sure. Give me a hiking backpack. Oh, and a duffel bag. Uh, um, <clears throat> guess we've solved our carry capacity problem. Thermoelectric suit? No, thermoelectric outfit or nothing. Nothing in the display cases. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do I see? <laughs> wow. We are definitely... Oop. Bad zombie. Compound? Oh, is that a second one up there? Two compound hunting bows. Uh, I think I can live with one, probably. This will expose me a bit going in here. Extension cords. I don't need any of this. Ooh, that's not nice. That's not nice. Good old acid dog. I don't want to fight him in that kind of terrain, especially. So, I think we'll skip that.
I would like to get check the upstairs area. Great helm, junk ornamental plate armor, and a pike. A real pike, too. Big stabby stabby. 162 moves per attack. I could stand in the middle of my murder wagon and reach things on the outer edge of the murder wagon. Long reach attacks. That means I could stand here and hit things here. That's the normal melee. That's the reach attack. That's the long reach attack. Poor fit Great Helm, though. Hmm. I do still kind of like it. Problem is that encumbrance. That is so much encumbrance nowadays with the changes to encumbrance for the head. Yeah, we're just going to say no. That's too much. And junk ornamental's terrible anyway. 40 pounds. <clears throat> 50 encumbrance. Do I want to fiddle with a pike? Hmm... <laughs> it's like a lance. ABP, always be piking. <laughs> always be piking, huh? I don't know, you people in your reach weapons. Alright, I want to peek upstairs. That's my next big thing. Uh-oh, Hunter's on the way. He could be a problem to deal with while using a pike. I was hoping to luck into some binoculars or something. Oh, Boopinator! Hey, Boopinator. Feral Servant, huh? Not sure I really have the space to be grabbing up just tons of random stuff.
Well, whoa, Batwing. Oh, I should have closed the door before I moved. Um. That guy's hard to hit with a pike. Ouch. <laughs> I dropped my gun. Come on, get that last hit. Broad spectrum antibiotics. Wow, that's a pretty lucky find off a random zombo. Uh, bloated zombie. I want to get to that room that he just, uh, he just stunk up, too. Got display cases in there. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I can tap him with the pike from far enough that I won't. Well, I'm, I'm in a gas mask. It doesn't really matter. Necro Boomer, I haven't pulped everything. <laughs> As I pulp before you can get to him. Hey. What's going to happen is I'm going to do all this stuff upstairs. I'm going to go downstairs and it's going to be a nightmare of uh, high-end enemies waiting for me. Rollerblades. Nah, we're not going to be rollerblading at this run. More. Oh, no, same rollerblades. All right, this is one of the rooms I was looking for. What do we got? A talking doll, lockets and bracelets, necklace, spiral stone, tin plate, desert eagle 44, and boxing gloves. Seven out of eight rounds, huh? So the box in here yep, doesn't have anything this time. Sometimes it'll have guns and ammo. The back stairs. Really? You took multiple hits from this thing? Love it. Another one of those where they get stuck in that corner. At least one more. Yep. Three hits seems like too many with a this on a standard zombie. <laughs> what messages are we getting? Impale, gouge, critical, critical, critical. And I like all that.
Don't care about that section. And more stairs down. On the north side. That pretty much covers the entire upper floor. I don't want to go down here because I haven't cleared this from the bottom section. Probably get swarmed. Alright, uh, we're mostly done. I'm not going to go into the basement, I don't think, on this one. <laughs> Looks so weird. All right, into the box. If you nine foot long pike. <clears throat> so we got a desert eagle, got a hunting bow, got a pike. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good haul. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I've never been a fan of any of the reach attack weapons. Way, way, way back in my early, early Cataclysm career. <laughs> sure. Many, many, many thousands of hours ago. All right. I think we might be done dilly-dallying. We did not get the binoculars I was hoping to find. Not going into the basement. Um, we didn't find much in the way of food and water either. Well, water we're, we're okay on, but... I didn't get much in the way of food. Munchies. Any vehicles I need to check? Hmm. Too many chairs. Not enough cargo. Broken security. Oh, the hybrid. Broken security. Good engine. Crashed alternator. Got gas in it. And a draining, very large storage battery. That's one of the things you want to look for with these hybrids if you come across them, is these very large storage batteries. All right. Oh, and no wheels. Well, never mind then. Don't need to look. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm not sure I can sluice my way through here without... Oh, crap. Oh, come on! Oh, son of a bitch. Now this just got ugly. There's no way. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I got pretty lucky there with the uh, lack of hitchhikers. Uh, it wasn't letting me pivot. It was insisting I was hitting that vehicle back behind me there. What makes the knife spear useless? I mean, it's got its uses. It's just not the thing it was seven years ago when it was the thing. It got nerfed multiple ways. One of the biggest being it's fragile now, so it breaks very, very quickly. 